Let us take a look at history. We were one of the first institutions in the country to offer a BTEC program in biotechnology in the year 2001. If you take a look at our faculty, several of them have degrees from abroad, from international institutions of repute. Furthermore, many of our faculties have degrees from national institutes of repute. And they have a lot of experience research-wise, teaching-wise, and therefore we have a very strong faculty. If you take a look at our labs, we have state-of-the-art equipment ranging from um, molecular biology, bioinformatics, microbiology, biochemistry, bioengineering, and um, all our labs are fully air-conditioned, all our classrooms are fully air-conditioned, all our libraries are fully air-conditioned. So basically the whole building is fully air-conditioned if you look at it that way. Um, we have several international MOUs uh, with, uh, with institutions of repute and good name which has resulted in international collaborations with them, which has given the output of high impact factor research articles in, in, in journals, as well as good grants as well. Uh, furthermore, our faculty also does uh, collaborations with national institutes of repute as well. That has also res resulted in joint uh, collaborations, uh, papers and output as grants from uh, government agencies as well. Um, we are also one of the most happening uh, colleges in the whole university uh, when we, and we also have activities throughout the year. Uh, we have activities in technical societies so students can update themselves in, in the current field of their work. Furthermore, we have cultural activities throughout the year so students can have a well-rounded 360 approach to education and life. Uh, we also have um, good placements where several companies come throughout the year and take our students and all of the students who have passed out so far, all of the students who have passed out so far, they're either working abroad, studying abroad or working or studying from within the country. So none of our students are sitting empty. So that's that's a good sign. So if, if, you, if you like this video and if you'd like to join us, please do come. We await your arrival. Um, one of the major things we focus on is the syllabus because many people talk about that the syllabus is more theoretical in the sense that it doesn't really apply to industry because people say that as soon as we come out of a job we have to learn a new totally new skill set to actually understand and work in that job so what our teachers and our faculty has have done for this is that we have adapted the syllabus taking into consideration a few points number one uh, scientific literature how our field is changing every year. We adapt our syllabus accordingly. Uh, industrial requirements, we consult with industrial partners in that from biotechnology, bioinformatics, microbiology and biochemistry. What are they looking in candidates? What do they want in candidates? What certain skill sets they want? And we adapt that and integrate that into the syllabus. Uh, we also are in constant collaboration with industrial partners in the sense that we send our students for internships throughout the year during summer and winter so they can get hands-on industrial experience. We are now part of the um, uh, Modiji's Ready program in which students are given entrepreneurial skill sets in order to be ready for intake in industry. And we have co constant uh, placements happening throughout the year. A consistent amount of placements happening throughout the year uh, from various companies of repute and we use our networks not only that our own networks to place our students in in those companies and therefore career wise I think our, our students are very safe because all the students who have passed out so far either are doing higher studies in, in, in for example in the PhD level or postdoc level or working abroad or in national institutes of repute from within the country so I think in that in that area we're pretty strong